Good morning. I am Dr. Mahalingam Piriswami. I am a sexually transmitted infections consultant from Chennai. Today I will be uh, discussing with you uh, regarding sexually transmitted infections and HIV. So this is a series of videos which has been specially prepared for viewers who are having a lot of doubts on the modes of transmission, symptoms and what are the tests to be done for STD and HIV. So as you all know, sexually transmitted diseases get transmitted from one person to another by way of uh, sexual uh, act. The sexually transmitted diseases are also transmitted by other modes like uh, from an infected mother to a child through blood transfusion or by sharing of uh, needles and syringes during drug abuse and also through occupational mode where uh, healthcare providers are at risk. These are the common uh, ways of transmission of HIV. Uh, in addition, if you ask, there are other modes of transmission of uh, sexually transmitted diseases like direct contact also. Okay, let's come to the questions. Uh, the common questions asked by people are, uh, Doctor, I had uh, sex with a person whom I know for a long period of time and uh, he seems to be healthy. So can I get HIV? So being healthy is not the only criteria for saying that the person is not having the infection. So there are possibilities where a person might be healthy but, be, but might harbor the infection within them. Next question, uh, doctor like you know this is the first time I am having sex. So uh, I have heard that uh, having multi-partner sex only like you know you got a chance of getting infected. So the chances of transmission of any sexually transmitted diseases varies from 1 to 5 percentage. So uh, we don't know whether this exposure had been risky whether we, we are in the first percentage or having sex with a hundred percent we might also get the infection. Okay. Uh, so that is the reason why we are telling, advising that uh, all sexual encounters which are unprotected are unsafe. The next question is, uh, Doctor, uh, I was wearing condom while having a normal penetrative vaginal sex, but I didn't use during my oral sex. Do I have a risk? Any unprotected penetrative sexual intercourse without a condom is at risk. But when we compare the different modes of uh, sexual transmission, the highest risk is with anal sex, next comes vaginal sex, the last one is oral sex. So if you have had an oral sex, uh, the chances of transmission is less but it is there. There are other STDs which can get transmitted by oral sex like syphilis, gonorrhea, etc. So we have to think about those possibilities also. Okay, the next question, uh, doctor, like you know, uh, I had uh, sex with a person who has had sex with four or five different persons, but this person is uh, tested negative for HIV. So do I have a chance? Having a sexual encounter with a person who is having multi-partner sex is always at risk. So we better avoid that type of a sexual contact. The next question is, uh, doctor, uh, four people had sex with one lady, but all four are negative and this lady is also negative. So can they develop HIV because you said that uh, multi-partner sex is uh, one of the highest risk. So the transmission is very simple. If there is infection in one person, it gets transmitted to another person. If there is no infection in the person, it doesn't get transmitted because these sexually transmitted infections or HIV doesn't come just from the air. So one person has to have the infection to transmit to another in other person. Okay. Next question, uh, doctor, can an infected mother transmit uh, the infection from her to the baby? Yes, the possibilities of transmission uh, transmission of uh, sexually transmitted infections or HIV from an infected mother to a baby is always there but there are medicines to uh, prevent the transmission.